America stopped making products, we're making bubbles, says Robert Kiyosaki, best-selling author of, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He warns that inflation levels are associated with a serious problem and are getting worse, adding that, the repo market has reversed again, and a recession is imminent. Kiyosaki claims that Solana is in its infancy and has a long-term chance to thrive among top cryptos, comparing it to a can of tuna. He concludes that the totalitarian control of the West is upon us, and the reason he wrote the Capitalist Manifesto is so that Americans can fight with knowledge and education, not with guns. Listen to the full podcast to understand what's going on the US inflation rate, and are we witnessing a serious economic collapse? Please follow us on YouTube and open your notifications for further podcasts. Enjoy. Well, thank you. I, I want to keep things in perspective. You know, like I've been saying to people, silver is still 50% is off time high of 50 bucks is 25 bucks. But the question is, if a can of tuna hits 25 bucks, what does silver go to? And that's what I'm concerned about. And I'm very, I'm very, I'm, I, and every year, every time you talk to me, Daniel, I wish I had better news, but it gets worse. It just gets worse. And, and on that note, you know, I, I don't know how many times I've interviewed you now, countless uh, over, you know, the span of 10 years. And I don't think I've ever seen you so concerned, so vocal. Uh, you know, I've been reading it and all, all your latest tweets. Will Smith slaps Chris Rock at the Oscars. Biden slaps Putin on the world stage. It's toxic masculinity. The world is in trouble. The national debt is going to go through the roof. Biden is causing inflation and blaming Putin. Dollars about to implode. I want to talk about that with you. So you're saying buy more gold, silver, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana before this World War III. Okay, so there's a lot of thoughts there. So let's start with the dollar that you say is on the verge of imploding. How far out are we from that? And what will be the catalyst, the major catalyst? There's a lot, but what, what is it for you? Well, there's a guy, Jordan Peterson, he's a Canadian. And he talks about, he says, you think tough men are dangerous. And Trump was a tough man. But he says, watch what weak men will do. And this guy, Biden, is the worst I have ever seen. The man is senile. And today what's happening is Russia and China are now ganging up on the U.S. It's really a dangerous world right now. It's getting worse. So every time you interviewed me when Trump was in power, I was a bit optimistic. But now we have the weakest, most corrupt government. You know, what happened to Hunter Biden's laptop? If the FBI loses his laptop, there's something really sick inside this country. And so that's kind of what I gauge all my macroeconomics on is, where is Hunter Biden's laptop? I mean, how can the FBI lose it? We have no financial education in our schools. So it, it, that's, that's what I'm concerned about. My biggest concern, Danielle, with Russia and China are ganging up on us. As we all know, America produces nothing anymore. We produce bubbles, you know, we just blow air bubbles. So we now have this bubble in real estate and stocks and bonds and and then when Biden took the Keystone pipeline, XL pipeline off the, just wiped us out here, inflation goes up and the average American doesn't have a thousand bucks. 40% of Americans don't have a thousand bucks. And so when inflation goes up, we're going to wipe out 50% of the U.S. population. And that is when revolution starts. And, and so... If and when, and it will come down, the stock market crashes, the 401k, the old guys like me are toast. You know, we don't have a retirement. Our pensions are bust. So what we have with three things is our treasury is out of control. We've lost it. Our entitlement's out of control. And now we're at war in the Defense Department. So our debt to GDP is out. So every time I talk to Danielle, I said, I wish I could have some good news. So that's why I did the tuna can to a silver yeah. eagle comparison. We're in trouble. So, Daniela, you know, for years, I've been buying those grain canisters of silver coins because the government can't trace them. I can use them for money. So I can go anywhere in the world with a silver coin and spend it. I can go with a gold coin and spend it without being traced. Not that I'm hiding anything. I'm just sick and tired of this government. I don't trust them. As I said, if, if, if Hunter Biden's laptop disappears in FBI custody, 
we have a serious, serious, serious internal problem here. And so that's why I, I you know, tongue in cheek tweeted that I'd rather have a can of tuna right now than a silver coin just to get ridiculous, get ridiculous because I can eat tuna. I cannot eat that silver coin. <laughs> like to spend it. You were also warned about uh, the repo market inversion. Um, you know, our, our friend George Gammon uh, does a lot of work on that. And you said that last time this happened was in 08. So be right. careful. Recession and crash are coming. Weak businesses yeah. and greedy investors to fail. In 2008, you borrowed 300 million to buy great real estate at bargain prices. Time to get rich coming again. Time to get smart, not greedy. So there's always opportunity, right? Let's talk about opportunities. Let's, let's add some optimism here amongst all the negativity of, you know, how can we, how can we make money here? Well, always remember America has stopped producing products. We produce bubbles. Now the good thing about a bubble is when they burst, everything goes on sale. And so when things went in 2008, I waited till about 2010, I borrowed 300 million because debt is money, as you know, after 71. And I began buying real estate at bargain prices. So just recently, the repo market inverted again, which means we're going down. It means recessions ahead. But my concern is now revolution because when people can't afford to eat tuna, we're going to have rioting. So it's a whole different type of bubble burst. When Biden took us off the pipeline, oil prices went up, oil produces fertilizer. And when fertilizer is no longer cheap, people can't produce food. And the average American has nothing. 40% of Americans have nothing. Inflation is going to make them very upset. A stock market crash will bring down the baby boomers. So we're in serious, serious trouble here. So I'm just being ridiculous in my tweets because it's better than listening to Biden that I'd rather have a can of tuna right now. That's what I'm saying is that at least I can eat it. Robert, when you, um, I'm going to send you a case of tuna, but before it hits 25 bucks, but um, when we talk about, when you talk about a revolution, do you see that happening like U.S. or global or what does that look like for you? Well, I'm a U.S. Marine. You know, I fought in Vietnam twice as a pilot. I've seen what happens when people, when the communists, what people can see in the Ukraine, communists always kill civilians. And that's what people don't realize. And as a Marine, they sent kids and women after us. So a lot of my friends who came back with PTSD, and you can see it in the Ukraine today, they're not hitting, mili Russia's not hitting military targets, they're hitting civilian targets. And when you understand communism, and you know, this is my latest book here, it's, it's called The Capitalist Manifesto, is I am a student of communism. So this here is, when 65, I had to read this book here, 48 pages, one of the most influential books in world history. But nobody's read the book. They don't know what Marx said. But what Marx said, they had to have the poor get poor and the middle class come down. And that was the recipe for revolution. And I see Biden doing it when he took, when he took the Keystone XL pipeline and took us off of it and oil prices went up. Now the thing is, Danielle, I got richer because I produce oil. I don't invest in oil. I don't invest in Shell or Exxon and all that. I invest in oil wells. So when oil went from $30 a barrel to $130 a barrel, I got richer, but I also got more concern for my fellow human beings. They can't afford to live at $130 a gallon a barrel of oil. And so that's why in my tweets, I just get ridiculous about it. Hopefully somebody will listen. 